The dark side of Scorpio is destructive, vengeful, hurtful, brutal, secretive, and manipulative. Hey, it's Lamar Townsend here with another Scorpio video, and in this video I'm going to talk about the dark side of Scorpio. But before I get into the evil side of Scorpio, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend Official, and please check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading. My readings are not free, they are $1 per minute, but they are well worth it. If you visit my website, you can read and watch some personal reading testimonials. Also, I provide birth chart readings, so if you would like a birth chart reading, I will need to know the month, day, and year that you were born. I would love to do a birth chart reading for you, so please check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. This is the bullying school that picks on you about something that they know is going to really hurt your feelings, like your cankles or your big forehead, the way you walk, the style of clothing that you wear, or even worse. Scorpio is ruled by the planets Mars and Pluto. Mars is all about power, aggression, animalistic instinct, sexual desire. This is kind of why Scorpios can be very sexual people, side note. But they're also ruled by the planet Pluto, which is all about new beginnings and endings, which gives Scorpios the power to literally end things and start things, which is why they tend to be very, very destructive people, especially in their dark side. Scorpio is a water sign, and they are a very intelligent water sign, okay? They are the deepest of the water signs, meaning they are able to go to the deepest depths of the ocean of emotion. And what I mean by that is basically water, water signs, meaning Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, are usually associated, associated with emotion and being able to connect with, with one's emotions. Um, and out of all the water signs, Scorpios are more easily able to connect to the, the deepest depths of their emotion than probably all the other water signs, maybe except Pisces. Um, but that's a separate video. Um, so because Scorpios are able to see the deepest depths of themselves, they're able to see the deepest depths of other people as well, whether you know it or not. So no matter how hard, no matter how well you think you're masking your insecurities, you know, by donning yourself in beautiful clothes and makeup and, you know, going to the gym, the Scorpio can tell, can smell that insecurity from a mile away. You know, whatever you're insecure about yourself, the Scorpio is going to pinpoint that, they're going to see it, they're going to see straight through it, and they're going to be like, oh, okay, so this person's insecure about that. Let me pick on that. Let me pick that wound. A dark-sided Scorpio is going to pick your wound, your insecure wound, and they're going to pick it and pick it and pick it until that wound gets deeper to the point that you can't ignore the wound anymore. Like, they're just going to rip the band-aid off and just pick at it. Scorpios are very vengeful people. They're very vengeful people, okay? They're going to get you back in some way or another, um, whether it's through karma or whether it's through their own hands. They're going to get you back, and once they get you back, they will get so much joy out of seeing you crumble. Just absolutely crumble. Another good thing that Scorpios really good at doing, especially dark-sided Scorpios, is that they're good at ignoring you. They're good at giving you the cold shoulder. They're good at not acknowledging your presence at all. Once you have crossed a Scorpio and you're dead to them, you're literally dead to that Scorpio. Like, at that point, you're just a peasant on the ground begging for the Scorpio's attention. And the Scorpio is like, do you hear a fly somewhere? You know, is... is do you hear that? You know? Scorpios are also very secretive, so sometimes they may not outright tell you, hey, I'm pissed off at you, hey, you did something that made me upset. They may just start to be really secretive and, like, you know, act really odd, you know, like not answering your text messages, not answering, you know, back as, as fast, rapidly, um, ignoring you is a big sign, um, not inviting you out to places that they usually invite you to. Those are all signs that a Scorpio, you know, is is upset with you or something, or, you know, something has gone awry in, in your relationship with a Scorpio, and they're just kind of waiting for you to realize what it was, and the, the longer it takes for you to realize, the, the kind of madder and resentful, more resentful that they get inside. 
A dark-sided Scorpio is the type of person that will lead you on, even if they don't like you, but they just like the attention that you give them. But they absolutely have no intention of ever, like, dating you or even hooking up with you. But they kind of get upset and jealous when they see you talking to other people and see that, you know, the attention that you give them may be diverted by someone else. And that kind of can make a dark-sided Scorpio jealous, so... They may once again like emotionally manipulate you to be like, hey, like, come back over here and give me some more love so you can feed my ego, but I give you absolutely nothing in return. On that note, sometimes a dark-sided Scorpio can use people. They can use people who they don't even like. Like, they may hang out with people that they absolutely hate, like, you know, um, but they hang out with that person because that person provides some type of thing that they need or that this person has some type of connection but they absolutely can't stand this person like a Scorpio will use people use you know manipulate emotions you know they're sometimes really good actors dark-sided Scorpios so you just really have to be careful they're also very secretive people remember a dark-sided Scorpio so a dark-sided a Scorpios in general are secret secretive but a dark-sided Scorpio has being secretive down to an art okay so once again, they're very subtle people, so you you just never know with a Scorpio. They're very hard nuts to crack. I almost want to equate a dark-sided Scorpio, or just a Scorpio in general, to a statue. Now stick with me here, okay? A beautiful statue, of course. Now, physically, when we see, see a statue in real life, we see that it's a statue, there's nothing really in it except concrete or whatever it's made of you know there's nothing at the core of, it, of the statue but if we think of Scorpio metaphorically in terms of a statue a non dark dark sided Scorpio is going to have that statuesque kind of rigid outer shell but once you get to know the Scorpio more and more and once they become more comfortable with you and they become more comfortable with you sharing their life story and their secrets and yada 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 Eventually that the, the outer shell of that statue wears off and you see that the person inside is not actually made of rubble or concrete or whatever. They are made of flesh and skin and huma humanity and it's just so beautiful to see the Scorpio in their true nature. But a dark-sided Scorpio is like a statue that is indestructible. A statue that if you try to break through its core, it's going to play mind games with you, it's going to use you, and it's going to throw you out like Sunday's trash, okay? That's kind of the difference between a, just a regular Scorpio and a dark-sided Scorpio. Dealing with a dark-sided Scorpio is like dealing with a mega boss in a video game. A mega boss that has all the powers, the supernatural powers in the game possible. They're able to throw fire, they're able to control your mind, your thoughts, they're able to you know do some type of psychic powers and, and throw wind bombs at you and lightning and just all types of crap at you and it's like you really you just have to really be indestructible and be able to withstand all with a dark-sided Scorpio or you're gonna get eaten alive. A dark-sided Scorpio most likely knows everything about you and can use that information against you. So yeah, that time you told the dark-sided Scorpio that you one time slept with your best friend's partner or that one time you told your dark-sided Scorpio that you slept with your best friend's husband or girl, wife or whatever, they're going to probably use that information against you um, at some point when it becomes an opportune moment. And most likely that opportune moment is going to be a moment where they're going to make you feel like utter crap about that decision that you made, that secret that you told them. And the Scorpio is not going to give one F about how they make you feel afterwards. Most likely the Scorpio has planned that moment out, this moment out that I'm talking about, for weeks, for months. You know, like the Scorpio has been plotting, like I am going to tell that bee, I am going to tell that dude off. The minute he tries me, the minute they try me, and I'm going to bring up that secret that they told me that one time, and I'm going to make them feel like crap. You have to remember that Scorpios, especially dark-sided Scorpios, are very emotionally manipulative people. Okay, so they are going to know how to manipulate your emotions. They're going to know which wounds 
which scabs to pick at to make them bleed to make them you know reopen all over again you know so you have to really know yourself when you deal with a Scorpio especially a dark-sided Scorpio and you have to be prepared for his or her attacks because they're gonna come at you okay those psychic bombs those those fire blasts they're all gonna come at you and you have to be prepared a dark-sided Scorpio can be very dramatic and does not mind having an audience around them when they are upset and when they are telling someone off. As a matter of fact, having an audience fuels a Scorpio to go even harder when they're upset at you or someone that they're going off on. Most likely, once again, a dark-sided Scorpio has had pent-up resentment, pent-up rage, pent-up anger at this person, and they've been plotting for this moment for a while now so most likely that's why the reads the shade the telling off is coming out so flawlessly because they've literally been planning for this moment for a while okay <laughs> dark sided scorpio most likely has an ish list of people that they cannot stand these people could come from work family you know friends that they hang out with friends of friends that they hang out with that they just can't stand but that they have to deal with on a daily basis the great thing about scorpios that scorpios though is that they're very sarcastic people so they have a way about dealing with people even people that they can't stand in a way that it's like hey i can't stand you but i have to be in your space but you know hey let's have a certain distance about us like you know there's a there's a boundary that i'm creating here and i need you to not step over it all right you know that's kind of like what a scorpio is is all about is is, is boundaries creating boundaries around them with certain people and it's like when you cross their boundaries especially a dark-sided scorpio it's like you're gonna get stung sometimes it's not the things you say it's how you say them these in my opinion are traits of a dark-sided scorpio Please let me know if you agree with me. Please comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video. By the way, I appreciate you for listening and watching this video so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. Contact me at Lamar Townsend Tarot for your own personal reading, lamartownsendtarot.com for your own personal private confidential tarot reading or your own birth chart reading, okay? Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll catch you guys next time, okay? You Scorpios are awesome. I love you guys.